Good morning, hope you're having a fabulous day out there. Uh, so today's video is about the difference between GHD and Cloud9. Now I'm not gonna go through which is best and you know anybody who knows me knows that I have been an absolute GHD lover for eternity. Um, but I've been having some further education lately and I've come to realize that the two different brands um, fit different purposes. So whether one is better than the other, I think it really comes down to what your needs are. So what I'm gonna do is explain to you the differences between the two brands, and then you can go out there and choose for yourself, because at the end of the day, they're both um, professional products, um, they're both used by hairdressers all around the world all of the time, so you know it can't be a bad thing, but I think knowledge is what you need to make the choice. Okay, so, GHD. This is the GHD Platinum. It has many, many sensors in it so it can detect the thickness and the condition of the hair. This one is um, the One Glide Wonder, meaning that you shouldn't have to repeatedly go over your section. Um, just with all of the irons, whether the um, Cloud9 GHD or anything, don't run too fast. The hydrogen bonds need time to change, so quite slowly when you run over them. Um, why would you choose this? Um, you choose GHD if you, um, you just want to get the job done. So it um, sits on the 180 degree heat all the time and if you've got lots of hair, thick hair or you've got no time and you just want to smash it out, then um, GHD is where you go because it's sort of, it's all built in for you. There's no choices to be made and just get in there. Um, the downside of it is that because it is set at that heat, if that's not appropriate for your hair type or your hair colour, blondes, then it will be very drying on the hair because at that level the moisture is extracted from the hair and can make it quite brittle. The thing about that is um, one of the reasons why your curls won't last is because there's no hydration in the hair. Okay, so just something to remember. This. Um, and no, this is not the traditional size, this is the fat size, but this is a Cloud9. And can you just see in there that there are different um, heats there? And you um, push the button up depending on what heat that you want to go to. Okay, so it starts at 75 and it goes right up to 220. And the reason um, for that is that it depends on what you want to do. So I suppose for me I would call the Cloud9 iron a stylus iron because it lets you pick and choose what's happening for all the different types of clients that you do. So for somebody like me, I have fine hair, medium density, but obviously very, very blonde and um, it goes through a lot. So. Because my hair is naturally very straight, when I'm ironing my hair, all I'm doing is sealing and shining. So I have my hair done on um, 100, and that's it. And that's all I need to make it nice and glossy and straight and under control because it's naturally very straight anyway. Um, so if it's just to seal and shine the hair, you know, 75, 100 is fine. And you can go up further through that. Even um, into medium, you can go up to 125. But once you start hitting 150 and above, the moisture is getting extracted from the hair, which is damaging the hair. But it also makes means that your style won't last as long. Because of course, if the hair is dry, it's more open. And so humidity is going to get at it, you're gonna get environmental damage and stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons why the curls don't drop. Um, a little experiment that I was told about with cloud nines, and you guys can do this for, you know, for those of us who need a little bit of proof and us Kiwis kind of need that. What you do is go through and do your curls at the different heats. So you do the same curl, moving along the head at the different heats. So start at 75, then up to 100, 125, 150, and so on and so on. And what you will find is that initially, the curls done at the highest heat will be the strongest, they'll be the curliest and the bounciest, and um, the ones at the lower heat are not. But over time, what you will find is that the curl that was done at the highest heat will drop much further than the curl that was done at the lower heat. They kind of stay where they are. So there you go. So that's the difference between GHD and um, Cloud9. I think Cloud9 is a great choice for stylists um, if you've got lots of different hair types and things that you're doing because you can pick and choose for your client. And at the end of the day, you know, we want to do what's best. That's um, our modus operandi at Black. We do what's best. So that's why we use Cloud9 for at that different level. Um, for um, at home use or, you know, for people who do lots of thick hair in the salon and stuff like that, 
GHD is your man, that's where it's at, okay? Regardless of which one you choose, please, please always use heat protection for your hair. So, so important. And it doesn't matter how bloody good the iron is. If you aren't putting heat protection on there, you are going to get breakage. The number one reason why we have hair breakage is heat styling without protection. Okay, so there you have it. GHD, Cloud9, you choose depending on what you need. Have a great day.